Yo, what's up guys? This is Sam Shaw out of here and this is me bringing you the first War of Alliance Season 17 and we start with the Big Bang. We start up against, uh, in my opinion, the best alliance after Kenobi in the game and that is ASR in terms of Alliance War. And here I'm on my path 3, section 1, I got a Red Hulk and I'm taking in Quake. Um, it's a pretty straightforward fight. Just don't get hit. Just don't hit and don't get hit, and everything else just flows. Um, I was expecting probably some more like six stars rank three. Here I just made a mistake and I accidentally hit Red Hulk, which I shouldn't have. But all good. I'm still quaking and shaking and doing my stuff over here. Uh, this is like my third season back after in Kenobi after. Uh, my return over here and it's going pretty nice and pretty easy uh, everything's smooth and we're all uh, doing our stuff winning that is and um, I'm pretty happy over here so yeah uh, everything's fine over here and so here I just did my first um, note and uh, they've actually changed the whole uh, questing um, uh, boosts in Alliance War now they've put this one for six hours uh, and I don't know I don't I'm not a huge fan of it I prefer the, these old uh, old ones where if you just uh, just like uh, put the ones for 30 percent it just lasts for an hour I'm a big fan of that and here we've got um, Doctor Strange on the psychic cones and uh, this um, SR they use uh, flow as the global node and flow is in my opinion it's too op right now it's kind of like bugged in a way it's too it's too strong it's sh they should lower it in a way but you know that's my personal opinion i don't see why uh, someone should think of what matters and what i think and so but yeah it's really really strong and like a lot of like old champions are like now back they're like being placed on defense like dr strange is like <clears throat> or like a rogue or like some weird champs that you would never have ranked five and now you're just finding them in the alliance war and you've even taken like old counters like there's like you're bringing back medusas for like warlocks or other you know other champs and stuff and here dr strange he goes into his uh his sp3 and even i go at the same time so i was like let me shoot mine before he does his and thankfully i've put a invulnerability boost over here so i wasn't too afraid of getting you know, getting hit by Doctor Strange uh, L3. I knew that I would have probably taken an L3 in this fight, so that's why I actually purposely put it. And uh, yeah, so here I didn't get my armor buff uh, nullified, so that was pretty good. Um, fight went pretty much straightforward as I was expecting. And here I just go and even take the next uh, Modoc uh, mini. This is a quake fight and just a regular one, you know, nothing different of this sort and stuff. Uh, quake actually is a really, really good counter on most of the uh, nodes for flow because, you know, you don't have any touch, you don't hit the opponent, so there's no like crit damage uh, you're doing. So um, I think she's like amazing for this, um, uh, for the flow uh, global node that's why i probably haven't been like facing much of a challenge in these uh, couple of last season alliance season wars but i can imagine people who don't use quake a lot and they're like taking like their ghost who like crit and like guaranteed kind of crit and like corvus that's why we were seeing less and less corvuses on the offense right now because uh, when people play when place flow it's kind of uh, uh, guaranteed crit with Corvus so that's gonna not help uh, in the fight so you're seeing less and less Corvus wars and you're seeing more and more like diversified like attacks and stuff like you know quakes or like Omega Red and you know you've even got like ghost team but you gotta like bring in hood just just in case and here in a minute the whole fight is done um, I, w I just finished my whole path for the day and uh, we'll be now proceeding in uh, section two on my usual path which is uh, the path one where there's the vigor node and there is the the buffet and here i'll be going in with um uh, symbiote supreme uh, it's against hyperion on vigor 
uh, I was a little bit nervous over here. I don't know why. I, it was probably the first war, and you know, when you come after off season, you're a bit rusty and you're not in your like best shape. And we knew we had to like you know give in our best, so uh, it was a bit of a stressful war because you're fighting against ASR and in my opinion, as I told you, they're they're like the best after Kenobi in Alliance War. So I was a bit like you know nervous when going into this war and. I guess even they were because no one, none of us expected to have such an immediate kind of like, uh, you know, neck to neck uh, war of, at the beginning. So I just popped an in no invulnerability boost over here just in case. I was like thinking Hyperion might go red and stuff and he might not throw his, uh, he might be stingy in his launching his specials. So I just popped another invulnerability boost. So there goes two out of my seven so far. And uh, yeah, I mean, Symbiote Supreme, he's pretty OP against Hyperion, and so I wasn't too afraid, but I was just worried if he goes too red and he just is stingy in launching his specials. So yeah, then we go up to everybody places Doom on this node, everybody thinks that Doom is OP over here, but. Um, and he is actually, the only thing you gotta do is, uh, if you're taking Quake on this node, you don't have to play the normal Quake style, which is, you know, you, you're heavy and then you evade and stuff. You have to parry him, cause otherwise Doom applies like these shock on you and, and your evade, it counts as a buff in a way, so doom can uh he can just heavy you and take you can just die in this so the trick on this node is you gotta heavy and you gotta like parry him you don't have to like play the quake and shake style so once you get hang the hang of that it's pretty straightforward you know you just uh, you're not even taking too much block damage if it was siphon it would have probably been really tough but yeah so that's a really really quick fight plus class advantage and here I'm. Um, I was even told to take the next two fights, uh, Emma and um, Havoc. Oh, here I was like wondering what to do with Emma, because if I had apply, if I would apply an infection on Emma, when she would launch her uh, SP1, uh, it might not have. I might not have to do the reverse controls, inverted controls. So I was a bit worried about this. I was thinking maybe I'll just parry her SP1s and stuff, because. If uh, Warlock's infection gets on uh, really well on Emma, she can he can nullify that uh, that aspect of the inverted controls when she throws her SP1. So you would just do it like a regular one if it's like a, for example like a sin, uh, Sinister or Mr. Sinister or like a Magneto for example. But uh, that didn't cause too much problem because I was really hitting her really hard and stuff. And the fight's going pretty well. I could have taken in Quake as well, but it would have probably been a longer fight in here and stuff. So yeah, that, that fight re went really, really quick. And next is like, um, we've got a Havoc over here who is stun immune. And I was like, uh, yeah, I was just going Warlock class advantage. It's a very, very straightforward fight. Nothing <clears throat> too fancy. And uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, in general, Alliance War seasons, uh, they're fun and everything. And uh, we're uh, all good and stuff. But I think this, um, this node, uh, Oh no, it's I'm not sure what Kabam's gonna do about it, but it's really it's fun and interactive in a way. You know, you sometimes I mean Kenobi launched it like you know, no none no other alliances were using it, and then all of a sudden we used it in, in our first war, uh, I think a couple of seasons ago and or last season and everyone started using it. So yeah, that was kind of like a big uh, surprise for a lot of alliances when they started facing us. Um, yeah, so I mean everything is going well in this fight over here, Warlock's doing his stuff, I'm just hitting Havoc like a normal fight, you know, baiting his uh, SP2s over here, hoping that he just drops and stuff, I'm not scared of any plasma detonation because of those charges and stuff. Um, in case he goes red, I would just throw my SP1 so that you know I can just power drain him and stuff. But uh, all in all, uh, it's really straightforward fights. I was really expecting some six-star rank threes on ISR, but I'm surprised that there wasn't. Probably used to seeing NY and, and facing NY when they just have like 25 champs all over and uh, uh, in their map and stuff. So yeah, that's uh, it was. I was kind of expecting that and stuff. And here I was told to take Darkhawk or over there, as you can see in the middle. Uh, but I was out of energy and I was waiting for my uh, lines mate Rai to 
uh, just come in and queer invisible woman so I could just uh, you know start uh, take that uh, dark hawk over there and yeah so I was just waiting like trying to go back in line chat and seeing what's the deal and stuff I was given the thumbs up and here I just uh, decided and um, I was told to take dark hawk, dark hawk as well uh, I mean, uh, I did a Dark Hawk video video with uh, 6.4 uh, with his um, uh, chapter boss, and so I was pretty comfortable. With, I'm pretty comfortable taking him as a you know as a, with Quake and stuff. It's no big deal. He was really passive in the beginning of this fight, so I was like even more like chill and you know I had a 30% boost, so I was like yeah okay you know it seems like. A, He's just standing over there and I don't know what he's doing. He's just going back and forth. And I was like, okay, I, I already got into Quake. So like I stunned him twice. He's already down to like lower than 50%. And here I was like, okay, cool. He's just, uh, you know, in the, he's putting him in the corner. So that's pretty much okay. I was trying not to parry him too much. But, you know, uh, as I was saying, it was a bit rusty a little bit. I didn't use Quake all off season. I was trying to like use like Ghost and stuff. I was trying to be careful here so not to like give him too much power because it's in a kinetic uh, charge node and stuff and uh, yeah I mean pretty much uh, that's it and it's less than a minute and he just drops and stuff so overall it was a really good war uh, we did our stuff uh, <clears throat> ASR were really good and here you can see I was like top uh, in my alliance I mean, you know. and in the end yeah we won uh, it's really good uh, good war by ASR and uh, everyone else so shout out to all the mvps and uh, yeah i came in fourth that kind of sucks i'm I've always i'm always in the fourth place like you know in such occasions it's all good as long as the alliance wins and stuff but yeah so yeah that was a good war uh, shout out to asr i mean for the first for being the first war we all did our stuff so uh, congratulations again and uh, i hope to guys uh, catch you guys in the next video take care ciao ciao